What's up guys? It's Bro Man back here in Destiny and I wanted to go over something that's super important. It is of course the Trials loot. Now, I only managed to go flawless one time this weekend and it's probably all the flawless that I'm gonna get, but I did manage to get some cool loot which you can't see right now because it's on another character. But I like to use Destiny Item Manager to move my shits around, so this is the gear that I happened to get a Reno if it will come into my inventory we know. BAM! This, the Doctrine of Passing. Death is the best teacher. Now, this is a low impact auto rifle, AKA a bullet hose, but it's actually really strong. Uh, I got mine with, uh, these perks are the same on all the weapons, by the way. Persistence, extended mag, small bore, brace frame. And I also got mine with counterbalance, very similar to the raid loot. Now, I know the big question is, a bullet hose auto rifle for trials, are you are you serious? Is this a joke? Well, let me tell you something. I am not a strong PvP player. Not that you're surprised, but I did happen to discover that this auto rifle is actually really, really good. Um, despite its shortcomings of being uh, a low fire rate, or, or high fire rate, low impact, it has a lot of strengths. Um, Primarily the fact that because of the extremely high fire rate, you can burst down enemies pretty well and track every enemy with a lot of precision. Um, it takes about 16, uh, 13 to 16 bullets to kill someone, but um, because of the high fire rate, it's not that hard to empty that many bullets into somebody, even if they're running away. Now, if you're not a fan of auto rifles or you prefer high impact, low fire rate auto rifles, I think this is a good gun to look at to try and maybe change your mind or alter your meta a little bit. Now, it's not going to be the best in close range encounters. It's not going to be the best at like, you know, taking somebody out if they're stuck in the hall. But it is going to be something that is very good in most trials related situations. Uh, primarily, um, if you're trying to keep damage on an enemy over time. Uh, when I went back into trials with this weapon, I found myself using it. Um, I found myself using it to make sure enemies couldn't recover and in better case scenarios anytime an enemy was already lit up a little bit I managed to be able to take them down pretty quickly uh, the high fire rate really really stands out as something that even though you would consider it a deficit in most weapons especially in year one and into year two like the Atheon's epilogue it becomes something that is much more than the sum of its parts. Also, it's got really kick-ass scopes, like this one that drains as you fire it. What? Uh, the only tips I have when it comes to playing with this weapon is the fact that it, it kicks back a lot. And by a lot, I mean a ton. Uh, in order to hold it steady, you're going to have to get used to moving your thumbstick down as you fire. Uh, because if not, it'll kick right over the enemy's heads really fast. Um, that's about the only real unique uh, skill point of the weapon that you need to work with. But if you get, <clears throat> if you get yourself uh, one of these trials auto rifles, I would not immediately go to take it apart. I would give it a couple of, give it a couple of rounds, upgrade it, see what you got. Uh, this could be an absolute monster. I didn't get a half glass full roll, but if I had, I would have been very happy. Um, I see this auto rifle being very, very useful in PvP. It's been useful to me, and I am pretty much a pulse rifle player at this point, as as many folks are. Oh, that was uh, a little nice. That was nice, nice and clean. Uh, but <clears throat> uh, this is definitely something that might be worth changing your mind about. Uh, so, guys, if you go ahead and you you happen to grab yourself, whoa, wow, really, wow, really, if you happen to grab yourself a Doctrine of Passing, make sure to give it a couple of tries to see if it fits your play style. It's got, mine's got red dot, it's also got fast draw, but the OEG rifle scope is actually, it's probably my favorite, because it looks badass. Look, it drains and then it turns yellow. It's like, look out, and then it's like, reload. It's fucking awesome. Also, it's got that nice little coat of paint on it. Additional note, any of the weapons that drop from the uh, lighthouse, which this one did, come with a hidden perk of last resort. Uh, where all of your stats are boosted if you're the last person alive on your fire team. I find that, obviously, to be a god tier perk in Trials, as well as, you know, pretty much any sort of PvP team maced mode. So there you go, guys. There's my quick little review of the Doctrine of Passing. Make sure to pick it up uh, if you can, and give it a try. I definitely don't think you should uh, trash this one right away. 
I was expecting to hate it and it actually turned out great. Um, you might expect it to be great and turn out to hate it. I don't know how you'll feel, but I know how I feel. And I recommend it. Thanks for watching today, guys. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you all next time in Destiny, where I will hopefully not be this bad at PvP while doing a weapon review. Bye, guys.